G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can vertically align our web parts in our sections. A new feature rolling out to SharePoint Online uh, in addition to the custom images that we can now use in our sections as backgrounds and also with the addition now of our custom shapes on the image web part, we can now also align or vertically align our web parts. Let's dive in and have a look at what this feature provides us. So we can see here, and here's an example of a section, a custom section background that's been uploaded. Uh, the image has been uploaded, plus also a gradient that's been applied to this section. We've also got our three image web parts here in our different shapes. Now, if I pop this page into edit mode, what we might see is, let's just rearrange these web parts. Uh, so I'm gonna stack these images on top of each other so that we've got a, a high section here. And I'm just going to change this section so that we've got a, um, let's go a one, let's go one third right. So I've got a big web part on the left and we might then also have some text in this particular uh, uh, column here. So we've got our, our text, but we've got our images that are stacked on top of each other. So we've got our text at the top, uh, which is at the top of the, the section, but we might wanna have it in the middle of the section. So what we can now do is in the section properties, we've now got this alignment panel where we can align it to the center or to the bottom of the section. So now what we can see is that we've got our uh, our web part in the middle of the of the section aligned to the middle. So if I duplicate this as well, now we've got two text web parts and they're in the middle of our section. Now let's delete this image and now we've got two images, two text web parts, but they're now vertically aligned. So giving a, a, a greater uh, enhancement to the user experience and more capabilities for you to lay out your pages so that they make sense for the content that you are putting inside those sections. Uh, so there we go, uh, another new addition uh, and another way that we can enhance the user experience of your SharePoint pages to make people wanna come back and look at it some more.